Figure 9.7 illustrates the simplifying labor model for the weight setting curve. It is simplified because it considers two options for the workers. Either they work or they don't work. So we start here with the weight setting curve. Remember that the weight setting curve gives the real wage necessary at each level of economy-wide employment to provide workers with incentives to work hard and well. As such, above this weight setting curve is the feasible set. That is, at each level of economy-wide employment, the real wage in this area is higher than the one necessary to provide workers with incentives to work hard and well. But now we simplify things and we will say that there are two levels of effort, which we call working and shirking. The level of effort working provides a level of effort that the firm's owners and managers have set as sufficient. So above and on the weight setting curve, workers work. The level of effort shirking provides no effort at all. So below the weight setting curve, workers shirk. They do not work. With this simplification, we can consider the level of effort as given. So either workers exert effort or they don't. The wages will determine whether workers will work or shirk. To conclude, figure 9.7 shows that the wage curve is the boundary between two regions. On and above the wage curve are all the combinations of the real wage and employment level for which employees work, and below it the combinations for which employees shirk. Sure.